I joined you happily last week to meet my soulmate. You have no responses. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, Jorge. Uh, just checking the, the hockey scores. We are the only two freaks from high school to never be married. Doing it long, doing it strong. Saturday night, we're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. I'm back where I work. I play Ricky, uh, who is a guy who's never had any luck at love in his life. He's become very, very much a hermit, and and uh, he finally goes online, you know, and tries online dating and meets Danida. Yes, who's um, very unhappily married with a man who's brutally violent. Yes, and, and, uh, and so she asks me to kill him. Yes, and uh, and I get help from my best friend Seth who yes. is also unlucky in love, but doesn't seem to sweat it, and uh, is constantly trying to support Ricky, but ends up kind of ridiculing him, just by being a presence in his life and a supportive friend, but not really supportive. But help, in a well, way. no, it's supportive in yeah. that he helps him kill a guy. I mean, well, that's, that's, that's true. That's supportive. That's, that's going to bat for you, bro. Yeah, don't, you can't give <laughs> well, yeah, don't give the ending away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that guy, I'm not, not the guy in the movie. Which guy? <laughs> They, kill, yes. they like do a practice guy, guy first. first. They kill a guy, exactly. and then you gotta tune in to see if, if they, we there's kill the a real guy. guy. Please, God, help me find my soulmate before I'm hit by lightning. You have one response. I'm Danita, your date. You're gorgeous and, and, and amazing. Why the hell are you here? Can we just go back to your place now? Never seen a man weep and climax at the same time before. Thank you. And John, this is actually your first time in a while doing a romantic comedy, if you can call this a romantic dark comedy, I guess. Yes, yeah. but it was great. What was uh, I don't I never felt comfortable doing romantic comedies. I've only done a couple in my life, uh, and I uh, uh, mostly uh, because I just don't I I've never felt confident in that respect, uh, and so so uh, I try to avoid them. Uh, but this one was such a dark spin on that kind of thing, uh, and he was so incredibly uh, unlucky at love that I said, oh, I buy that. I buy that I could play that guy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, it was a, it's a very particular voice that Ricky Blit, the writer, has, and it's, uh, it's super fun. She's like a 10, right? You're like a four. But she just likes me. Nope. Yeah. No, there has to be a reason. What's going on? I'm married. How you doing? <laughs> we have to kill him, Ricky. That's the only way we can ever be together. Yeah, okay. R Ricky, Ricky, she's married, and she wants you to kill her husband. I know, but everything else is perfect. I just, I just figured you'd help me. You're gonna hold me big. All you have to do is kill a guy while his back is turned. And you know anybody who sells guns? This is how stereotypes get perpetuated. You know what? I just remembered, my brother and sister sell guns. Shouldn't we be at a, a shooting range or something? It's totally discreet here. I'm lying to you. When you meet your soulmate and you're in your 40s, not everything's gonna be ideal. There's always gonna be baggage. Plan A, we dump him in the ocean. You know how to do that? No, I do not. 